What's going on, everybody? I hope everyone's having a blessed Sunday. This is the video that everyone in society needs to hear right now at this current moment. Ladies and gentlemen, take your seats because greatness is upon you. I'm gonna read off three Bible verses and I'm gonna talk about all of them and keep it practical and show you how and why you should apply these things to your life. Let's get it. So the first verse is from 1 Timothy chapter 4, verses 8. For while bodily training is of some value, godliness is of value in every way, as it holds promise for the present life and the life to come. So basically what it's saying is, is a godly man takes care of himself, right? He lifts weights, he exercises, he looks good, right? That's good. There's some value in that. You know what I'm saying? Preserving your body because your body is your temple at the end of the day. But at the end of the day, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added unto you. Righteousness should be the forefront of what you're searching after in your entire life. Don't focus too much on your looks and too much on improving the physical aspects of yourself, but focus more so on improving the spiritual and mental aspects as well. That's what this is saying. Focus more on that aspect, more so than you do on that. But it's good. Stay in shape, fellas. Let's get this money, you feel me? <laughs> you know? Next one. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verses 12. Let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and check this out, in purity. Yeah. So basically what this saying is, let yourself be a living, breathing example of what it means to be a man. Every godly man is a living example for what he is trying to tell other people to be. You have to be a model for what you are telling other people to be and to aspire to be. Because at the end of the day, no one's going to take you seriously if you're not practicing what you preach. Facts. No one's going to believe you if you're not walking and talking. Walking the walk and talking the talk. You feel what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, that's the problem with society, bro. There's so many people that want to be in leadership roles and they want to, you know what I'm saying, benefit the lives of other people, but yet they don't have the balls to better their own life. How does that make any sense? Where do they do that at? Because on this planet, planet Earth, in 2021, no one's going to believe you unless you're showing results for every single thing that you do. And that's facts. A biblical, godly man is on his purpose every single day. That's why I'm posting a video every single day. That's why I'm working out every single day. That's why I'm keeping up with my looks every single day. Because you got to be about it, bro. Stop talking all the time and actually put your head down and work. Don't nobody care what you have to say, bro, if you're not making something happen. Stop talking so much. Period. Put up or shut up. That's the life that we live in. The devil doesn't care about how you feel. The devil doesn't care about your circumstance. Bro, he's trying to kill you, steal from you, and destroy you. That's it. Get on your purpose, G. Real talk. And the third and final verse, and this is the coldest one, bro. That's why I was trying to rush through these a little bit, and I didn't really talk on the other two, because this one is the one that is the most powerful, honestly, that stuck out to me above all these other verses. 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verses 13 through 14 be watchful stand firm in the faith act like men act like men act like men take care of your business take care of your family work hard become stronger Physically, mentally, spiritually, dedicate yourself. Don't be wavering in your mind. Act like men, not boys. 
be strong and let all that you do be done in love like i was talking about in the last video man love is not about giving people a ton of things love is not about just showering people with blessings it's about doing what's best for that other person and at the end of the day sometimes doing what's best for the other person is doing something that you don't even really want to do but you have to do you know what i'm saying sometimes doing what's best for that other person is talking to that coworker that you don't even like but you're feeling like you need to lift them up because they're feeling down Doing what's best for that other person is cutting that person off because you know that they're toxic for you and you know that they're doing nothing for your life, but pull you farther and farther and farther away from Christ. That's what love is, bro. Love is doing what you have to do no matter what. So every godly man does everything in love, bro. If you love yourself, you're going to value yourself. If you love yourself, you're going to take care of yourself. If you love the people around you, you will do what it takes to make their lives better. Point blank, period. If you're not doing anything, you don't love them. Actions is everything in this world, bro. Forget about the talk. Forget about the talk. It's all about actions, bro. 100%. It's all about obedience, bro. You can say, God, oh, I want to do this with my money. Oh, God, please just bless me with this money. Please just bless me with this. I want to do this. I want to do that. But at the end of the day, what about the money that you have right now? What are you doing with it? Other than buying stupid stuff. Other than paying for other subscriptions to Netflix and, and Hulu and all this stupid stuff. That's not benefiting your life. That's just making you more and more distracted. At the end of the day, bro, every biblical man, every godly man has to stand on these principles. The principles of love, purity, and strength, bro. Be a man. <laughs> Seriously, there's a difference between being a male and being a man. A man is somebody who takes care of his responsibilities no matter what and is in direct obedience with God, period. That's it. Obviously, we all have our own struggles. Obviously, we, we all are lustful, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, bro, you got to get back on it. You got to want to improve. That's all that God wants from you. He wants you to hunger after him. He wants you to hunger after righteousness. He wants you to hunger after greatness, bro. And if you're not hungry, bro, you're not going to go anywhere. Think about it logically from this standpoint. At the end of the day, if I'm if I'm not hungry, bro, like imagine if you just couldn't feel the, the feeling of hunger. But yet your body still had to still has to eat. You still have to put nutrients in your body. You would literally just starve to death. Physically. So what do you think happens spiritually and mentally when you're not building yourself up on the foundations of Christ? Bro, you're going to die, bro. Literally, you're going to lose your mind and you're going to be lost in life. I'm not on here to condemn anybody, but bro, I'm telling you this right now, bro. God knows what's best for you. He has what's best for you, not you. Facts. You don't have all the answers, bro. Us humans, we're so limited. We don't even think about it like this, bro. If, if we knew, if us humans were wise enough, you feel me? And capable enough to basically govern our own lives, then how come we don't know what happens after life? All in all, man, this is what I'm trying to get to y'all in this video. The principles of every godly man are purity, love, and strength. You need to be showing and displaying those characteristics in every single area of your life. Love doesn't mean you're all, hey, <laughs> everyone, everything is so bliss. No, it's not all that soft stuff, bro. At the end of the day, love is love. You ever heard of tough love? Yeah, that's how I was raised, bro. School of hard knocks. I'm an alumni. But at the end of the day, you need to figure out what do I need to do to become more like Christ, bro? Because Christ is the standard. You feel me? But be the greatest version of you. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to be somebody that you're not. You don't have to try to act like you're hard. You don't have to try to act like you're Mr. Macho Man either. You feel me? At the end of the day, being strong in a biblical sense 
is standing firm in your belief in Christ that you are going to have a better life, that there is light at the end of the tunnel, that no matter what your situation is, it's going to get better no matter what. And being strong is also taking care of your business, bro. Best believe if somebody checks you, you better let them know what's up. You don't have to literally run your mouth. That's the problem with society. Most people want to escalate things because of pride. Pride always comes before the fall. You know what I'm saying? It says in the Bible that God resists the proud. Confidence is a different thing. You feel me? Every man needs to realize that he needs to be taking care of his business on a practical level. Every single area of your life. Brushing your teeth twice a day. The simple stuff. Taking a shower once a day. Making sure that your hair is groomed. Making sure that you don't have a unibrow. Making sure that your armpits are clipped. Your pubic hair. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you smell good. Have cologne, deodorant. You feel me? Working longer hours. Getting to the money. You know what I'm saying? Don't chase the bag. Chase purpose. Because money will come with it. But at the end of the day, you need to do your own part. God's not going to hand you anything. You're going to have to work in this life, bro. You feel me? But honestly, I'm going to have to make a part two. because, Or maybe a video series for this. Because this is cold. I'm not even going to lie. I feel like I'm already growing spiritually just from me wanting to become a greater man. Stop looking to worldly people who just sell you dreams and tell you nonsense of what it means to be a man. Because if you look hard enough, bro, you can see the problems with people. Like, I have no problem with, you know, people doing their best. But at the end of the day, most people who are saying that they care and trying to better society are literally just following corrupt agendas in order for financial gain. Bro, I get like 10 views a video right now. My subscribers are going up, but at the end of the day, <laughs> I'm not gaining anything out of this. I'm just walking in purpose, bro. That's it. I want y'all to be better and lifted up, just like how I'm getting lifted up and I'm getting better. That's it, bro. If you want to change your life, and if you want to change the lives of your family members and the trajectory of your last name, you have to improve, period, in every single area. God loves you, and I love you too. Stay in the fight, fellas. And ladies... If your man is not doing any of this stuff, you need to find a different man, <laughs> period. If he doesn't live by these principles, I almost forgot to say that. And I'm gonna go more in depth on some other videos, but at the end of the day, all you need to know is what spirit is that man entertaining? Same thing with you fellas. What spirit is that woman entertaining? Devil, Christ either one or the other peace uh that was <laughs>